destructive effects of natural disasters in Japan and also man-made disasters in the Middle East as the threat of war looms. Kamustahin po natin ang ating mga kababayan sa pagsisimula ng Kababayan LA. against which we are powerless. We cannot control that as uh, proven by the recent uh, events in Japan, earthquake and then tsunami. And then there are man-made disasters, particularly violence in the Middle East as the threat of war looms. And caught in between, kawawa naman po ang ating mga overseas Filipino workers. Kaya po kamustahin natin sila ngayong hapon sa Kababayan LA sa tulong ng balita. Ronnie Ligo, Editor-in-Chief of Midweek and Weekend Balita, thank you for joining us this afternoon on Kababayan LA. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat at sa lahat po na nanonood ng Kababayan LA. All right, magandang hapon, Ronnie, dito sa California, but in other parts of the globe, it's not really very good. Uh, well, let's talk first about the nuclear uh, crisis in Japan. It deepens, napakaraming mga reactors na nagkakaroon ng problema, and what worries us, uh, among other things, yung kalagayan ng ating mga overseas Filipino workers in that area. Yeah, we are talking about about 300,000 Filipinos ano, na nagtatrabaho sa Japan. And of course, we talk uh, about this, uh, uh, our uh, OFW do sa Tohoku region, about 4,500. Ano. The Philippine Air Force announced that they are ready to evacuate kung sino man ang Filipino na gustong umalis sa bansa na yan. Okay, but that's, we shouldn't be stopping at that. I know that we discussed it, uh, this also on Monday. Is the Philippine government ready to do something to help these, over, uh, this, uh, these displaced overseas Filipino workers? Alam mo, isang uh, 64 million dollar question yun, ano? kasi marami tayong mga kababayan na tumutulong sa ating bansa no? and uh, we're, we're not even talking about the Middle East, marami rin tayong mga kababayan dyan na nagsilikas na. Of course there are, the, the threat in Japan is now yung tinatawag nating nuclear problem four of the nuclear reactors dyan sa region na yan uh, eh, uh, they, they're having problems and at, uh, etong uh, kinatatakot natin eh, the, the particles the dust particles uh, from the, the radioactive materials, eh, baka maapekto yung mga residente and there's evacuation so pinag-uusapan nila, the Filipinos who want to leave Japan, uh, you know, we're, we're ready anytime that you want to go, we'll fly you out. Okay, let's touch on this a little bit also, uh, Ronnie, radiation scare. We touched on this yesterday on the show with a different, uh, uh, with our correspondent from Manila, but how is it now in Manila? Oh, kasi no, ang maganda dyan is yung, uh, yung wind pattern uh, from Japan, it's going towards the Pacific Ocean. Hindi naman yan parang umiikot, tapos babalik sa bayan natin, ano? Well, hopefully, of course, sana walang pumunta sa atin. However, like uh, meron nga uh, report dyan, ano? Tayo, like, we're going to fly to New York, we catch radiation, anything, no? Na, ma ma lahat ng activities natin, merong radiation anywhere. Pero hindi ibig sabihin yan, eh, is it a level na maa-apekto tayo at magkaroon tayo ng cancer or anything else na maa-apekto sa ating uh, Okay, and speaking of uh, apekto or epekto, directly affected by the violence in the Middle East right now are the overseas Filipino workers in Bahrain. In fact, in advice na sila ng Philippine government na lumikas at umalis. What is going on there, Ronnie? Oh, 31,000 Filipinos ano, ang nandun sa Bahrain. Ano, at sinasabi nga ng Philippine government, this is the time to leave now. Uh, recently, uh, uh, 1,000 troops from Saudi Arabia at United Arab Emirates ay ipinasok yung Bahrain niya sa, sa city nila yung manama kung saan nagkakaroon ng protesta against King uh, Hamad. No? Two, 200 years na yun, ano? two centuries na gahari ang mga pamilya na yan. Eh ngayon nga nagpaprotesta yung kanilang mga sariling uh, tao. No? So tinatawag nila ngayon ng ating mga kababayan, this is the time to go. You have to leave now. We are talking about 31,000 over Filipino workers. And of course, uh, 25,000, uh, half of the 25,000 Filipinos in Libya have already evacuated. Isa pang uh, gulo dyan din. Okay, Ronnie, how willing are our kababayans to leave? Because we talked about this before. Some of them have paid everything that they got in order to be placed to different job placements in the Middle East. And now they have nothing to go back to when they go back to the Philippines. That's true, no? Uh, first, sa Japan, 1,000 Filipinos have left. So meron ibang willing, meron ibang hindi, no? Sa Libya, like I said, half of the 25,000 uh, Filipinos, no? Uh, overseas Filipino workers have left because wala silang uh, uh, choice kundi lumikas dahil nga nagkakagulo doon. At ito naman ngayon sa Bahrain, eh, 
pagkagiritong meron na mga sundalo no at uh, gusto nang uh, gibay nitong pagpoprotesta ay na itinatawag na gulo na at magkakaroon ng patayan kasi diyan so, all right we are going to okay we are going to be closely monitoring the developments from that region as well as from the uh, reactors and the nuclear crisis in Japan Ronnie for now thank you so much for sharing that information with us i know there's more news to be had midweek and weekend balita also online all right, thank you so much. More power to you. That was Ronnie Ligo, Editor-in-Chief of Midweek and Week in Balita. Magbabalik pa po ang kababayan LA. This time, let's talk about some immigration updates for you. Don't go away.